Hey to YouTubers, this is TZ and Joy's Gardening and Life. I'm just making a quick video because I'm just thinking, just call me Homestead or TZ. I got all these peppers to put up. There's a couple of persimmons. There's satsumas, lemons, bitter melons that I have to hurry up and they're popping open. I'm going to say the seeds. More peppers, sorrel leaves, roselle garlic to make garlic powder, roselle roots in there. Then I'm making my turkey. I got a whole turkey in here minus the breast to make my broth and some turkey soup and then can, can what's left over in the meat, but it should be all be jars of turkey soup after I take the broth out. We'll see. Then I have squash to put up. Then I have, oh my God, it's YouTubers, sweet potatoes, more sweet potatoes. And in this closet, all of these bags in the screen. I don't know how much is in here. Oops, sorry about that. Look, this is a whole closet full of herbs that I need to process. And I don't know how deep these bags go. So, YouTuber, just call me Homestead or Teagsy. <laughs> I'll be making tinctures with these, some oils, some to put up in the, um, on my spice rack, you know, the crying. So, yeah, this is all the things that I have to do and put up, guys. All right. Good morning, YouTubers. This is Teagsy and Joyce Gardening, and it's Sunday, December 1st. And this is some of my broth that I have from cooking my whole turkey. I had it on a low fire for two nights, so almost 48 hours, low and slow. Okay, let's talk about what I pulled out. Um, I got the bones, the onion skin peels, and the garlic peels in the stems from the herbs from my garden. So I'm going to put the... Um, vegetation in a bag to put in the compost then i'm going to put the bones up and i'm going to boil them down and make bone broth turkeys have a lot of nice big bones to do this with as you can see so that's what i'm doing with these scraps and i skimmed off some of the fat too off of my broth with it with a very fine mesh strainer because you don't want that in your turkey soup or in your broth and also, you 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 need to remove the skin. You can't um, can fat. And this is a lot of fat that I cleaned off um, the turkey. So you don't want to do that. Now, all right. Now I have all the um, bones and everything, and the meat, and some of the um, bay leaves and everything. So I'm cleaning out the bones now, and then I'll be putting this mix in the bottom of the jars, some of the jars, I will be canning up some turkey soup in the pressure canner. I'll be back when it's all packed and said and done so you guys can see the end results. YouTubers, I have my jars heating in my oven. I'm gonna fill six at a time. Um, seven can go into my pressure canner. So we're gonna do seven batches of turkey soup at a time. I cleaned all the um, bones out of the meat and the vegetables. So let's get this started. Time to start filling these jars. I have my funnel there, got my gloves on. Now I'm just gonna take handfuls of this turkey based mixture. It has onions, garlic, um, rosemary, thyme, carrots, celery, um, <laughs> bay leaf flavoring and some um, canning salt and some black peppercorns. It tastes um, really good. I didn't put a lot of salt in there either because I don't want it to be salty. But I did put some. And look, I missed the bone. That's why you need your gloves on to feel any bones. We don't want anybody to choke on bones while eating soup. I'll be back when I get these jars filled to put in the canner. Now I have the jars filled with the broth. Then hopefully I have enough broth to do another canner load 
If not, I'm going to make the um, can of broth in 24 ounce jars. But that's, that's what's left over. Here are the seven quarts of turkey soup. And we make our soups hearty, not like the stuff you find in the can where it's just broth. So what I'm going to do is just to, you really don't have to do this, debubbling to get air out. It is soup, but I like to do it anyway. Just let anything rise up to the top for bubbles. Ooh, this one has a lot of meat in it. I'm going to have to take some of that turkey meat out and maybe put it in another jar. So that's some debubbling going on. And now I'm going to I have my vinegar and a piece of paper towel. I'm going to wipe the rims off because, you know, this is broth and it has fat and you need to wipe the rims off to ensure you get a good seal when you're processing meats, anything oily. You, you just don't want anything to interfere with sealing your jars. I'll be back when I get these out the canner, you guys don't need to see me wipe these down with vinegar, put the lids on that I have heating in water. And they say you don't have to do this anymore, but I'm from the old school. I still heat up my lids so the rubber can be malleable and seal right when I put it on and then tighten the fingertip tight, the rims on. Okay, I'll be back. All right, I got the um, lids on and the rims. And these were filled uh, to an inch half space. Oh, I didn't get this one quite to the top, but it'll be okay. And I'm about to put them into the pressure canner, as you guys see. And I had the water warming up, so hot jars goes into hot water. It's about the same ooh, temperature as the broth and the soup, so it'll heat up, uh, heat up together. And can put seven jars in here and the rack is on the bottom and I have three and a half quarts of water in here. You put three quarts but I put three and a half because turkey and meat some um, have to be in here a long time and for this it's an hour and a half after you bring this up to pressure so i want to make sure i don't run out of water so i add a little extra because right now we're gonna let this pot heat up the water get hot build pressure vent it for 10 minutes and then put the um weight on and once it starts rocking we'll set the timer for 90 minutes i'll be back okay youtubers the pot is venting the nipples up. So now we gotta let this vent with the steam coming out for 10 minutes. And then we'll bring it up to pressure. And once it gets for my pressure, I always do it at 11 pounds, between 11 and 12. And I let it go for the time that's recommended to process. So I'll come back after it's done. I rinsed off the vegetation to put in the compost bin. I didn't want meat. And then look at, and I washed off the turkey bones. Look at all the beautiful bones to make bone meal. Turkey, guys, save your turkey bones. So I will be processing these to make some bone meal. But for now, they're going in the freezer. I have too much on my plate. I can always come back and do it. And I also have all the peppers that I harvested before the freeze. Some bitter melons, some sorrel leaves, I have them all dehydrating in the dehydrator. So once those get done, I will put them in a jar. And the sorrel leaves, I'll make some tea with it. And the roots, I'll make into a powder, as well as the bitter melons for healthy herbal teas. Because both the roots from the Jamaican sorrel and the bitter melons have lots of herbal benefits. So these um, are the seven jars of, uh, actually quarts of turkey soup. And then I have four quarts of turkey broth in the pressure canner right now. And then I also made some sorrel juice. I, don't, I was gonna make some jelly with it, but I think I'll just make the juice for now. 
and can the juice, water bath can some juice to put up on the shelf. Okay, I'll be back when the broth gets out the canner in about an hour and 15 minutes. Out of two fine mesh strainers are a must have in the kitchen. Sometimes you can't find your cheesecloth or you don't want to keep having to buy cheesecloth. Get these. It comes in a set of two. And I got them from Tamu. And they weren't even that expensive. But these are a must-have, guys. That'll save you time, too, than wrapping cheesecloth. And you know how cheesecloth, once it gets wet, it gets soggy and heavy. These little mesh strainers are the bomb. That's what I've been using all day to strain everything with and get my um, broths and juices clear of any residue. All right. This little bit of callus made a gallon and two quarts because I've been sipping on a quart <laughs> already and I have some left over. But um, a little callus, Jamaican sorrow roselle goes a long way. And if I do decide to make jelly with this, they're all ready to go. I strained them out and everything. So um, all I would have to do is just add pectin and sugar. And I can turn this into some Roselle Jamaican Sorrow jelly. Hi, YouTubers. It's TZ and Joyce Gardening. And this is the final video from my pres preservation day. These are the um, six quarts of turkey soup. It was so good, y'all. I ate one for supper the other day and lunch and dinner. It was so good. And then these are the four quarts of the turkey broth. Look at that beautiful color. And I like to get that color by putting in a sweet potato. So this is the turkey. And like I said before, I cut off the breast and I'll bring you guys along for the journey, I'm going to make turkey jerky. I got my curing salt in from Amazon and I'll bring you guys along when I make my turkey jerky with the turkey breast. All right, Tiggs and Joyce Gardening. Thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys. Bye.